Hello, guys. So, very interestingly enough, I have these cards. I have no idea what's on them. My name is Nani Madita, and these are the 10 questions. Primada. Si on. Ha. Oh my gosh, your day isn't complete with that. That's an easy one. Family. And that's also like Zoom calling or WhatsApp calling, video calling, or whatever, if I'm traveling. The best beauty advice you've ever received. Man, loving yourself, having a great self-esteem. All right. <laughs> Complete the sentence. Life is God. And I'm not like those churchy, churchy people, but it really is. You realize how God and the universe are in charge of everything. Three words to describe Africa Now Apple Music Radio gig. Yeah, so my Africa Now Apple Music Radio gig. Three words. It's dope. It's fresh. It's proudly African. I don't know if you can put the proudly African, but yes, it's only fine because we are proudly African. What would you tell hmm, 18 year old Nandi today? That's a great question. Um, I actually wouldn't tell her anything because there's one thing that I'm actually really proud of is the fact that I've always kept a 100. Like I'm super authentic and I've always been honest, you know, from a principal perspective, I've still kept it the way I would. I'm actually really proud of all the decisions I've made in life. <laughs> So, shout out 18 year old Nandy. Woo! <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would it be to eliminate narcissists and psychopaths? We have too many. And when I mean that, I'm talking about the narcissists who pretend they're good people in this world. I'm talking about the ones who can put a facade and like rock people. So you find all the people at the top of their game, a lot of them, not all of them, are really horrible human beings. And so, um, my superpower is to ensure people like that never have power. That we only have good people on this earth. That came too easy. <laughs> Got a lot on my chest. But yeah. Okay, so if you were an animal, what would you be? Hmm. That's a great hmm, question. I've actually never <laughs> I've like thought of myself as an animal. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Wow. I've been uh, watching a lot of these animal science. Obviously, I've got kids. Um, what would I be? What animal would I be? Sorry, I, guess I want to take this one more seriously. Well, I guess then, yeah, I guess a bird. Just to be able to, you know, take in the landscape that be this beautiful earth. So yeah, definitely a bird. Though I do that flying, but uh, it just, it must be a different experience, obviously, being a bird and taking it all in, man. One thing most people don't know about me, hmm, there's a couple of things, but I think the main one that I can say on camera, no, I'm kidding, um, is that I can dance. I'm from Durban. I take that stuff seriously. Durban, shout out, Durban represents. Um, I can, I don't do it a lot. I think I need to dance a lot more, like do a lot of TikTok dances just to like, but dance is actually something I could do weirdly enough. Um, I was also a ballerina until pre-elementary uh, pre rather, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, I can play piano, a lot of people don't know that. Classically trained in piano, um, ballet, yeah, so dancing. Very good questions. Next question. Where do I draw my fashion inspiration from? Okay, this is dope. Uh, first and foremost, the blueprints being the goats, and that's my mom. <laughs> She's like, anyone who knows her knows. Uh, she, yeah, I mean, I think that's the reason why I love Victoria Beckham. Mom is definitely the blueprints of fashion. She made it look so good and seamless. And then someone else is my very good friend, Noni Gasa. <laughs> Shout out, Noni. And I feel like that's all I need to say because um, from a fashion perspective, she's just always been ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. 
um, and she's been a big inspiration to me as well growing up. And she still does. Like, I'll hang out with her and just be like, wow, where did you get that from? You know, and for me, someone who's fashionable is not necessarily someone wearing expensive garments all the time, but you know, who can switch it up and it just always looks good. So, for example, I'm huge on like 50 Rand t shirts with like dope pants dope shoes you know uh, so for me that's style and that's fashion someone who can uh, just be fashionable on a budget um, yeah I appreciate people like that so shout out mom shout out Noni Gasa sing us something and include the word flower I love this question. And <laughs> don't switch off the camera. They need to stay away. <laughs> okay, actually, because I've got kids, I'll, I'll get into the nursery rhymes on your one. <laughs> All right. And include the word flower. You know what? Fashion is your power. Be a beautiful full flower. And <laughs> don't forget to shower. And be on time. Don't miss anything in an hour. Thank you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my song, Flower. You can get that exclusively on Apple Music and, of course, on Africa Now Radio. Okay.